everybody. Welcome to No Limits. We are standing in front of Barrow House in Burlingame, California. We've been hearing a lot about this place, so we're going to go check it out and go see what it's all about. Come on in. Hi, I'm here at Barrow House with Rick Edwinson. Rick's going to give us a little demonstration and show us how to make a few drinks here. But give us the story about Barrel House, Rick. Hey, uh, so Barrel House was established by Jose Natividad and Juan Laredo about a year ago. Uh, we have our one-year anniversary coming up next weekend, so we're really excited. And uh, it's been going great. Um, Berlin Games has been really good to us. All right. Should we get to it and maybe show us how to make a few drinks? Let's do it. Okay. Uh, so we're going to start off with um, a wa fresh watermelon margarita. And uh, so we got some fresh watermelon blended up. Okay. We're going to use a little Trace Generations Reposado. So I'm going to put a shot of that in there. All right. Very fun. Always good to have a little tequila. Uh, right and then on. we got a couple fresh ingredients here. We have some fresh lime juice. So I'm going to throw a little bit of lime juice in there. A little citrus. Uh, a little bit of fresh lemon juice. Okay. And of course, uh, agave is a great substitute for sugar. So we're going to put a little agave in there. There we go. Uh, always good to put a little bit of triple sec. Uh, so is this one of the most popular drinks here? Uh, now that it's getting warmer, it's getting pretty popular. Yeah. A little bit of fresh watermelon. We're going to sh shake that up real good. Okay. There we go. Pretty easy so far, right? Not too bad. <laughs> And voila. Wow, that was really easy. <laughs> Surprisingly, you would think, right? Do we get a taste of this little sucker? Go for it. All right. Will you let me know? Let's try this baby out. Let's see. That is very good. <laughs> good work. Good work. Those are definitely way too easy to drink. All right. So that's been pretty popular here. Really refreshing when it's hot out like this. Okay. Another drink that uh, we've been doing is a Sazerac. That's a little more sophisticated of a cocktail. Okay. Um, so we're using a uh, bullet rye for that. Um, okay. What we're going to do is we're going to put a sugar cube in here and a little bit different type of bitters. Some people, a lot of people have uh, heard of Angostura bitters. We're using a Peshaw bitters. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to put a little bit of that in there. So let's go ahead and muddle that up. Get that sugar cube crush nice. There we go. Muscles go in there. <laughs> and then we're going to go ahead and add our um, our bullet rye. Okay. Shot of that. There we go. And we don't really want to water this drink down, so I'm not going to shake it. I'm just going to I'm going to give it a little okay. stir. There you go. All right. Get that whiskey nice and cold. <laughs> And then we have our little coupe glasses here. What we're going to do is we're going to just gonna add a dash of uh, absinthe to this. Give it a little bit of that absinthe taste. Rinse that out. And just coat the glass. And this is a little bit stronger of a cocktail. Something you can kind of just sip on. Pretty refreshing as well. And we're going to go ahead and garnish that with a little bit of a lemon twist here. Really nice, refreshing, pretty strong. A little, yeah, little stronger than, little than the other. Uh, you you want to go ahead and taste that? I will definitely give it a little taste. I'm jealous. All right. Mm. That is really good. Very refreshing. Very refreshing. You want to try making a drink? Okay, well, what, what are you going to have me make here? How about I'll hold the mic? Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> So we're. This is the first time. So we've had a drink that's been pretty popular here. Okay. Um, and it's called a cilantro squeeze. Okay. And what it consists of is some fresh cilantro. Okay, you're gonna guide me through this. There we okay. go. So throw a little fresh cilantro in there. Okay, like that. Perfect. Okay. okay. And then we're gonna put a little bit of melon in there. We got a little fresh melon cut up. Okay. So you got a little bit of sweetness in there. And then we're also gonna top that off. Perfect. We're going to tap that off with a couple drops of uh, tomatillo Tabasco, green Tabasco, a little bit of spice. 
So you get a little like sweet, a little spicy. Perfect. Okay, she likes it spicy. All right. And then so what we're going to do is we're just going to put a little bit of lime juice in there. Just okay. give that a little squeeze. A little squirt. Perfect. Okay. And then give that a good little muddle. I get to, to work here, do a little exercise. There we go. Get that exercise in for the oh, day. Yeah, there we go. Look at those arm muscles. <laughs> a little bit of a mess. But. Oh, she's excited. Okay. Okay, what cool. Comes All right. We're also using uh, the Blue Ice G Vodka for this. Okay. So go ahead and put a shot of that in there. All right. All right. Perfect. All right. Okay. And then we're also going to use a little bit of agave again. Like I said, a great substitute for sugar. A little agave okay. in there. A little bit more. A little bit more. There we go. Okay. Perfect. And then we're going to go ahead and put some ice in there. Okay. All right. And then just go ahead and shake that up really nice. Wow, look at that. Are you sure you haven't oh, bartended haven't before? <laughs> Maybe you should hire me. All right, just go ahead and pour that in here. Where am I pouring that? In here? Perfect. Oh, that is such a pretty little drink. And voila. It yeah, like it's kind of pretty, huh? Yeah, very pretty. Okay. A little straw in there. Do my taste test here. That is good. And there you have it. I think that might be my favorite out of all three, but they're all wonderful. Awesome. All wonderful. Okay. All right, well, that was a great demonstration. Thanks, Rick, for showing me how to make a few drinks. And uh, I'll definitely have to try these at home. And cool. the next party I throw her. Yeah, they're like really them. easy to make, fun to do. Awesome. Enjoy. All right, well, thank you. Thank you. Well, I just want to say thanks, Rick, for having me here at Barrel House today. It was really great. I learned how to make some fabulous drinks. And I just want to say to everyone, you got to come down, check out Barrel House in Burlingame. Even if you're out of the country and you ever want to visit San Francisco, you got to come out here. It's got a great vibe, great place to go. Rick, can you give us uh, the website or some contact information and where they can find you guys? Yeah, you can uh, add us on Facebook or go to BarrelHouseBurlingame.com and visit our splash page. Awesome. Well, I just want to say thanks again, and it was great being here. And you guys got to come down. Hope to see you soon. Oh.